Hello, in the next video I'm going to show you some of the finer points of using Quicklist Professional with Mert Test. First uh, I'm going to show you how you can do a Learn GUI. I'm going to show you how you can highlight an application, uh, use the check property function to verify uh, data in, uh, in the application, um, how you can use the result manager to uh, log into the result file, uh, how you can use the data table and finally how you can use bitmap check and bitmap save. So let's get started with uh, learn GUI. Uh, first you need to open the object repository and then click add objects to local. Now the cursor will change to a hand and you just need to click the learn GUI icon in the device manager like this. You will get another dialog box uh, saying the mobile device which you just clicked on and click OK. Now all the objects that are currently visible on the screen are going to be added to the object repository. Um, that means, uh, for instance, this label name, company address, and the corresponding edit fields, of course. But also, uh, all the tabs you see here, identification, notes, options. Uh, so basically everything that is uh, visible on the screen is being added to the repository right now. Um, depending on how many objects, this can take a few minutes. If we go have a look now over here I'm interested in this field this is the edit field uh, I'm thinking this is uh, the top edit field but if I want to make sure I can just click highlight an application and that will highlight it for me on the remote device screen and there it is so this is the object I'm looking for um, so I'm going to drag this into my script and I'm going to set the value to my name like this. Now if I want to verify if this value was filled in correctly I can just uh, drag the object again and use the check property function like this. I press control space for autocomplete uh, I fill in the property I want to check which is text and the name uh, of, the, of the value of the property um, uh, I want to verify. So if I run this script It is first going to fill in the name and then it's going to verify if the name was filled in correctly and we can see this in the in the report in the result so if I have a look here I go down to the check property we can see that uh, property text has the expected value when passed okay um, now if you want to log things manually in the report you can see you can have the same functionality uh, that we just saw using the get ro property function uh, like this just going to store this uh, value in a, in a variable get ro property and then I can uh, forgot something here and then I can create my own um, verification point like this if false whim then reporter report event make pass uh, the step name okay uh, verify uh, edit field and the result passed else same thing, reporter, report event, make fail. Verify edit field, failed. So if I run this script,
should come to the same conclusion and now also log in the result file um, my uh, customized uh, checkpoint And here we can see verify edit field passed, result is passed. Okay. Um, now for the data table, it's easier if you switch to the keyword view here, and you can just uh, select a value uh, here. Uh, but first, you need to, of course, um, provide the information uh, in the data table itself. Name. Okay. Lim. Hello. So if we check, if we click here and then select parameter data table, the name of the the field you want to use, the global sheet, okay, like this. Uh, of course, you need to change the check property to verify uh, the data in the data table as well. Okay. And then we need to go back to the expert view to um, uh, to change the manual um, uh, check property as well. So we're going to copy this and paste it over here. Now the result of this change will be that the script will that the script will uh, run two times. First with uh, the name Wim, and then with the name Ella, and it's going to uh, log that um, in the report as well. If we run the script, first it's going to fill in my name, Wim. Going to check it. It's going to retrieve the text and check it again. And then it's going to fill in the second name in the data table, which is Ella. It's going to check that name. And once again, log that in the result as well. So if we log into the results file, we will see for the second iteration the value has been uh, set to Ella and has passed and also this uh, check has also passed and here is the result for the first um, for the first run expected value whim now if we want to um, do a bitmap check on this field we can do that like this just uh, copying this and putting this in comments so we don't have to run this again um, I can do a QTP bitmap save first. I'm going to save that to the D location. Like this. And then of course I'm going to do a bitmap check as well. Bitmap check need to add parenthesis and I'm going to print the result to the console so first it's going to do a bitmap save, it's going to save uh, a screenshot of this location to uh, the D directory like this uh, and then it's going to verify uh, the, the text on it So going to change the cursor to over here so to verify that to make sure that it's going to pass
and this is the result pass and the location uh, where it's stored now we can see that over here uh, this is the location I saved the file to and if I open it up it looks like this and that concludes this tutorial